I think if we understand God's welcome to us and the costliness of it, then we can't really ever be the same. I mean, part of it then has to be um, lived out in how we relate to one another, how we relate to strangers while we were still strangers. You know, God welcomed us and so on. So I think that's a, that's a key part, the, the communion of the Trinity, the mutual indwelling and welcoming that you see there that spills out into our lives, the, um, the power of the Eucharist as an expression of welcome and then a reenactment of welcome over and over again. It seems to me it just means that hospitality ultimately is absolutely central to Christian faith. If we understand the church as the household of God, then the people who are leading the church really need to have God's character, and part of God's character is to be hospitable. And so, I mean, certainly we can look back at the early church and recognize the role of the leaders that, you know, part of it was really to care for travelers, for poor people, and so on. And so they needed that kind of um, get practice of hospitality. It's hard to imagine the early church without hospitality as a significant practice, just because of how integral it was to forming community, to taking care of people, to, to their own, the earliest church, to the practices of worship itself.